Hey y'all, Becky Zinn here, and I'm gonna share with you my favorite way to organize all my graphics in Canva. It makes it super simple to update, to share, to find everything you need. Best of all, you can do everything in the free version of Canva, and you don't need to upgrade to get anything like the folders or any of those extra little tools. In fact, I have the upgraded version of Canva, and I don't use the folders, I use this system. What I call this system is the NCC, name, cover, and color. All right, let's get started. So you're gonna go, when you log into your Canva account, you're gonna see something like this. I want you to go over to the left-hand panel and click all your designs. When you pull that up, now you can see most of these are pretty and organized like I do, but there are a couple from the other tutorials. There's this one, the New Spring Collection, here's another New Spring Collection. This is simply just the image. And when you have all these images just showing up, it makes it hard to find things, especially if you're making stacks. And I'll show you what I mean in a minute. So let's click on this new spring collection. Now this is a stack, what I call a stack. I honestly don't know the real name for it, so we're just gonna make it up. That's how we roll. <laughs> so when I open it up, I have this image, this image, and this image. So this is my new spring collection stack. Just like if you had party images, I would have them all in a row so you can easily find everything you need, download them together, make updates. It makes it so much easier. Now, what I just did is I added a cover. So let's redo this. I come into my stack and I duplicate the top image. I delete the background and I highlight the text, and then I'm gonna make it bigger so it's easy to read. I don't need my handle for this because I'm not sharing this image. It's only gonna be used to be a cover. There is the cover. Now I'm gonna add the background, and you can color code. As you guys can see I on the other screen, I use some color coding. You don't have to do what works for you. I try to keep things that are of same theme, of same color, just to easy, it's easier to find them. If I know I'm looking for all my party graphics, they're this color. If I know I'm looking for something for a different brand, they're of that color. For a team, it's that color. All right, so now this has a cover. And up here is the name of the NCC. So you wanna make sure you name it properly. So actually what we should probably do is New Spring Collection 2020. And this way you can easily search for it and it's you know exactly what it is. We can even go a step further and add 2020 onto this. Now, when you search for this new spring collection, you can easily find it. And let me show you how. Oh, fun tip. Up here, you guys, it says all changes have saved. Always make sure everything is saved before you move on. Back to the home screen, all your designs tab, and there it is, the new spring collection. Super easy to read, easy to find, and now it's gonna be easy to update. Let me show you. Click on it again. Let's say we're in fall. We're gonna simply go over here to file, create a new design, oops, sorry, not create a new design, file, make a copy, Remember, we wanna rename it right away because it's gonna rename it copy of new spring collection. You don't want that. We're gonna do new fall collection. I'm gonna go over to my images and we are gonna pretend you guys because obviously we don't have the fall images yet. And we're gonna change this over here. Let's see, what can we pretend is fall? We're gonna add that one. Add this one and this one. And now this is the easy part. That obviously color scheme is not working. So we're gonna go up here and just click on black. Might have to just move it a tad, maybe reduce it. There we go. This one, eh, that's good enough for the sake of this. And that one's perfect. You guys, I just updated everything with a couple clicks. It was super easy. Now all saves, all changes have been saved. We go back to the home. Go to all your designs. 
and we're going to have to refresh. We might have to refresh a couple times. And there it is. New fall collection, new spring collection. Easy peasy. Okay, next up is the covers. We kind of talked about the covers, but I want to give you another trick. So as you can see, some of these have images on them. I just do that for fun. All of my promotion images for my team, I have like people on them because I think it's just fun and exciting. But also for this, for instance, it was my blog post cover. And maybe you have this with a series of graphics you're doing for um, girls nights or um, anything specific where you're gonna be using a series of images. I kept the image in this um, cover because I wanted to quickly know that it's that series. Um, maybe it's, a, let's say you're doing a girls night about 90s music and you'd have in sync in that cover. You would easily identify it versus your girls night where it was about your favorite chocolate bar. You would have like a Hershey's bar. You can get creative and have fun. And the more fun this is and organized it is, you guys, it's going to be easier to make your graphics, but it's also going to be fun. It's like working in a clean office. It's great. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right. That is it, you guys. That's a simple way to organize your graphics and find everything you need and quickly change everything out. Until next time.